Have you ever read a book and thought, whoever wrote this book is crazy? You're not alone. It happens to many people. Many thought that about this specific book. The thing is, that was in 1896. The book was called The Jewish State, written by Benjamin Zev Theodor Herzl. The subheading was an attempt at a modern solution to the Jewish question. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Jews had a problem, and Herzl gave them a solution. So why did they think he was crazy? Because the solution he gave was a state. The entire book details Herzl's plan to found a Jewish state, and many Jews didn't want that. Jews had very comfortable lives in Western Europe, thanks to the equal rights they had recently received. Judaism was just a religion, one that most of them left, and yes, there was some anti-Semitism, but that would definitely disappear soon, they believed. And Herzl? As far as they were concerned, Herzl was one of them. A famous reporter and playwright whose financial situation was not bad at all. He had a good life. So why did he suddenly decide to involve himself with the Jewish question? What they didn't know is that Herzl started to see what they all chose to ignore. Anti-Semitism in Europe is rising. Anti-Semitic events are becoming more and more common. The anti-Semitism had even reached the government. In Vienna, for example, the elected mayor's political campaign was based on anti-Semitism. That is why Herzl understands that as long as the Jews live alongside the Gentiles and try to be a part of them, anti-Semitism won't disappear, but grow. So what does he do? He defines the Jews as a nation, and the first thing a nation needs is a territory. Herzl describes the state as a model society with strict order and fair economy. The book is written in a very rational way, and the steps in writing and founding the state are clear and logical. At first, Herzl denies the claims that will surely rise about the book being an unrealistic utopia. He even signs the book using his title, Doctor of Law, to show that the book is serious and deserves respect. Next, Herzl details his plan, which is the essence of the book. The exemplary organization with which everything laid out is impressive. He discusses at length physically and financially organizing the Jewish communities into groups for Aliyah, developing the land and making it suitable for the standards of European Jews, forming the government and everyday life in this glorious state. It is interesting to see that Herzl's plan is meant for European Jews, and many details in the book refer to the life in Europe and leaving it. There is no reference to the North African Jews and their lifestyle. And yet, the North African Jews enthusiastically supported the book and the ideas it represents. The North African Jews were not the only ones to support the book. Besides those who resisted the book and believed Herzl to be crazy, the book had many supporters who were immediately excited about the solution Herzl gave. Among them was a large group from Eastern Europe, where anti-Semitism was fiercer, since they couldn't assimilate much. Why did they, and many others, support the book? Because finally came a person who offered a practical solution to their problem. Herzl gave them hope. They read the last paragraphs of his book with awe. Therefore, I believe that a wondrous generation of Jews will spring into existence. The Maccabeans will rise again. Let me repeat once more my opening words. The Jews who wish for a state will have it. And many Jews decided that indeed they did wish for a state. They will be the ones to turn Herzl's dream into a reality. They will found the Jewish state. How could the small book which contained only 68 pages in its original language, have such a big effect on them. Because Herzl didn't just publish a book, he published an idea. An idea that became a book, that became a movement, that became a state. And if it weren't for our state, who knows where we would be today?
Now we live in the Jewish state, to the credit of Herzl and his vision, for he was the one to start pushing this great idea in motion, Zionism.